uh, sorry, my nose was running like crazy earlier. I had time to think about James's question. Um, endemic animals that you find in the, the Cape of South Africa. Well, uh, one would definitely be a born to bork. Another one that you find there is a black uh, wildebeest, also known as a white-tailed gnu. In this area, we find brindled gnu, which are also known as blue wildebeest. Okay, Herb actually just showed me a, a plant uh, that has a very interesting story um, and a different uses as well. If you come down here, Craig, if you can just get your camera down here. Here we have a devil thorn. Devil thorn, okay, and if we look just underneath this plant, there is the devil's thorn. That has to be one of the meanest looking ground thorns I've ever seen. And what happens is an antelope will step onto this thorn. It is very hard and strong. That will actually manage to even um, puncture right into the hoof of the animal, which is extremely painful. And so that antelope will continue walking, limping and pain, um, and it will start to try and brush this devil thorn off. And that's exactly what the devil thorn wants. It wants to be transported away from this uh, plant, and that is how the seed will be distributed. Okay, so yeah, that is one of the nastiest looking thorns I've ever seen. Now there's something else that's very interesting about the devil thorn plant, just uh, never mind the fact that it's got a mean looking thorn that could stick in your foot. Um, there's a local Shingani tradition, the, the Shingani are the, the uh, local people that you would find in this area, and um, Herb was telling me that when uh, young boys are naughty, they actually have a, a um, punishment for them, um, which involve basically putting this uh, devil thorn um, behind your, your foot, um, and you actually have to step down on it. And then, uh, I suppose the elders, uh, as punishments, would make you do squats, lifting up and coming back down, lifting up and coming back down. And of course, as you uh, tire and you, you uh, wear out from, from uh, doing all those uh, squats, um, you start to fall on the devil's thorn and obviously that's going to be excruciatingly painful so that's a, a punishment for uh, naughty young Shungani boys okay so I'll put the devil thorn back where I found it and there's something really cool um, uh, f about this plant as well if you um, actually take um, a piece of it okay um, maybe your hands are dirty, maybe you've just been picking up some dung. Um, what you can do is you can actually use it as a hand soap. How about that? Okay, so we're going to pour some, some water on my hands quickly. Let's test this uh, devil thorn soap. Okay, we've got wet hands. We're going to now rub the devil thorn plant. Let's see what happens here. Give me a little rub there. Look at that. It's uh, slippery, feels just like hand soap. There we go. And I believe that it even has um, antiseptic or disinfecting uh, properties. So um, I've just uh, used some Devil Thorn hand sanitizer. Uh, so if you need to uh, clean your hands in the bush, you can use the Devil Thorn. How cool is that? 